Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today I am playing with Rangers Distress Inks and a gorgeous doily stencil by Tim Holtz to create kind of this feminine thank you card, feminine floral thank you card. And I'm just going to ink up the backside of the stencil with some Distress Ink. This is Broken China and then for some added variation of color I'm just going to tap a little bit of that faded jeans here and there and then I'm going to spritz it with my water mister and you kind of have to experiment to figure out how much water you want beading up there on the back of the stencil but we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to lay that down onto um, the smooth side of my watercolor paper and then blot away any excess with a paper towel and then when I lift up the stencil carefully I was really disappointed because <laughs> It did not turn out pretty in my eyes. But then as it started to dry, I was like, oh my gosh, that really is pretty. So don't be disappointed if initially when you lift up your stencil, it doesn't look all that great. Let it dry or heat set it to speed it up. And then I think you'll be pre pleasantly surprised because I know I was. And um, I, it was so fast and easy. I can't wait to you know continue this with some more of my other stencils in my collection. So now I'm going to take my base card and I decided to go with the blue panel and I'm going to outline my base card with a fine tip black marker and a lot of times when I'm not matting the layers on my card I like to just kind of add a little bit of visual interest around the perimeter of the card with a you know a fine detail line or it, it just seems to help draw the eye in towards your focal and I could be wrong but that's the way I see it and so that's why I do it. <laughs> And I'm going to trim this panel down and take the prettiest portion of that watercolor background. And then I'm going to layer these elements together. I've got a really uh, fun piece of vellum. Uh, this pattern is not in the store anymore, but there's another pattern by Studio Calico that also has a cool chevron print on it that I think would work great for this. And I'm just going to add it because I think it kind of helps provide a backdrop to the thanks die. And it also adds some pattern, but it doesn't compete with the rest of the design. So I'm just going to glue that. I kind of turned it into a little fishtail banner there and get that mounted uh, onto the back. And then on the front, I'm actually going to take a little bit of glossy accents and just put a couple drops there. And I know it will anchor that flag down nicely and it won't be seen. That adhesive will not be visible. So it's kind of a great invisible adhesive for something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply glossy accents to the back of the thanks die. This die is by Savvy Stamps and I love the elegant font um, that was used and just how large this particular thanks is. It really makes a statement. We'll just glue that in place and I'm not concerned about having every bit of it glued down. I just, you know, wanted most of it glued down and then if some of it pops up for a little bit of dimension, that's fine. And then I thought it would also be fun to add some shimmer. I'm using the Hero Arts Gold Shimmer Spray. And let me tell you, this stuff is just amazing. It is absolutely gorgeous in real life. A warm, shimmery yellow gold. And I think it just adds a beautiful finish. Um, I like to spatter it. You could spray it, but I like to spatter it like that. And in fact, I'm almost out because I let some folks um, that I taught a class in recently use it and, and, and they used up almost all of it. So I guess they like it too. <laughs> so I got to get more. And once I've got that glued into place on my card, I'm going to take these sequins by Hazel and Ruby. And these come in test tubes. It's super fun for storage. And I think they look really pretty. And I'm using the collection that has like the gold and the off-white and the, I guess it's kind of a platinum color. And I'm going to use my quick stick to kind of swipe it into a little puddle of uh, multimedia I've got there on a post-it note and grab the sequin with the quick uh, pick tool. It has a sticky tacky end to grab the sequin and then I'll just dip it into the multimedia and then slide it off with a little picker poker part of that quick pick tool. And that's a great way to secure your sequins and the multimedia is going to hold them there nice and strongly. Thanks for watching.